Should I use the Open to Work sticker on LinkedIn? Yes or no? Well, it all starts with your mindset and what you want. I will tell you what not to do, then I'm going to suggest what you should do. At Economy of One, we get asked all the time, should I use an Open to Work sticker on my photo on LinkedIn? Is this a good idea? We are so glad you've asked because this sticker goes to actually a deeper issue with your job search, and that is of your own mindset. What do we know about your mindset? Well, we know that according to a current Gallup survey, 70 plus percent of you don't really like what you're doing and indeed are passively or even actively looking for new opportunity. So you may be thinking that by putting an open to work sticker on your photo, it's going to move things along and convey that you're open to options. I'd like to suggest a different path. We want you to stop working at jobs that you hate. If you're part of that 70 to 80% of people that really don't like what you're doing, we'd like to suggest you just stop and that it all starts with your mindset of defining what it is you really want. In our opinion, you deserve a true opportunity, not just another paycheck at a job you can't stand. So the real question isn't about putting a sticker on your face, but rather how you position yourself to attract a true opportunity and not just another paycheck. You need to start by identifying what it is that you really want. In the Economy of One course, we call this your definition of success. It's what you require to be satisfied with your work situation. In helping you define success, we identify the skills that you love doing, the kind of responsibilities or duties that you love, and the culture that you personally work best with. This definition of success becomes your framework on how to educate other people about what you're genuinely looking for. You tell them how they can help you by introducing you to other people in their relationship base that will help you uncover the 80% of jobs that are not posted. Getting a clear definition of success this helps you to position your value so that you can actively pursue companies that genuinely appreciate your value and want what it is you have to offer them. And this puts you in the driver's seat. It keeps you from passively waiting for them to find you. And it puts you in a powerful position. The mindset shift I'm talking about describes overcoming a mindset of what we call the desperate job seeker. So you're asking, what is a desperate job seeker? In our opinion, it is someone who feels subservient to an employment system that dehumanizes them and makes them feel like they're going to have to retrofit who they really are just to get a paycheck. It's also someone who responds to everything because they're not clear about what it is they're looking for. It's a person who constantly compromises who they are to be seen as hireable. Is this you? So going back to your question about the sticker on LinkedIn, should you put open to work on your face? What do you think is our answer to this question? Well, first, in our opinion, your beautiful face is the most valuable real estate on your LinkedIn profile. It's hard to recover from a poor first impression and we believe that your face and your eyes are what people should focus on when they look at your picture. They need to determine if they trust or if they like you. Also, just being on LinkedIn conveys that you're open to work, so putting a sticker on your face, in our opinion, is redundant. Finally, the most important thing, if you're a senior level person, is that it's just inappropriate to put something like this on your picture, your professional picture. So what to do instead on LinkedIn? Go to your settings and indicate that you're open to recruiters contacting you. Indicate the kind of roles or skills you're interested in using and the type of roles you'd like to pursue. And this is going to open the door to the algorithm quietly promoting you to people who are actively looking for someone like you. Then I'd suggest that you update your profile to speak clearly about the kind of skills you love to use, the kind of culture you're best fit with, and just genuinely what you're best at. Then there's an opportunity to go further and indicate in your profile little micro case studies of how you've created measurable value for companies that have utilized your best skills. This, my friend, is our answer. 
no sticker on your beautiful face. Do you like this content? Please subscribe to my Economy of One YouTube channel. Join us on our private Facebook group, Economy of One. Please subscribe to our newsletter. If you visit economyofone.com, sign up at the bottom of our homepage for the newsletter, and this will get you linked in to all kinds of activities that we're doing and resources we provide to get you hooked into a community of people who are committed to being your financial first responder so that when you need work or revenue options, we are there for you. I'm Elizabeth Allen, and I'm here for the Economy of One channel. Thank you so much for joining me.